This is one of the best offenses in Madden 24. You will be able to dodge your opponent no matter what, whether it's zone coverage, whether it's man coverage, and just do whatever you need to do to score you a touchdown. You got deep bomb plays that you can go ahead and utilize and get one play touchdowns and all that good stuff. But if you feel like you can lock in, make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and let's get into this scheme. It's your boy, Larry, back to you again with another video. And today, you guys, we are back in the Cincinnati Bengals playbook. And we are going to be working out of the formation doubles. This is one of the best formations in Madden 24. So, without further ado, we're going to get into it, man. If y'all haven't already, go check out my previous videos. Miami Dolphins and Chiefs playbook. Already done a ton of money in those playbooks. Go make sure to go check those out if you are interested. But we are going to be working out of the PA zone read in today's video. Going to be showing y'all how to beat every zone coverage out of this formation. First, I'm going to be showing y'all uh, that this play beats every zone coverage in the game. What you want to go ahead and do first, though, with this play, boys, actually, you want to go ahead and motion this circle receiver over just like this. Go ahead and streak your triangle receiver and streak your X tight end. Now with this play, the beautiful thing about it, um, if you want to, you can lead the play action or you can cancel it, totally up to you. Uh, we're just gonna cancel it for the time being. But this circle receiver is gonna be open against every zone coverage in the game. Doesn't ra matter whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four, it's gonna be open against every coverage in the game. Go ahead and show y'all this one more time. Uh, this time I'm gonna show y'all with the play action just so y'all can see that. It works the same as that way with the play action. Uh, you just lead it towards the sideline. It's going to be open every single time for about a 20-yard gain. But the beautiful thing about this play, uh, we have the triangle and the X receiver on street routes. Because if the user wants to go and run over there after you hit him with that a few times, you also have this square receiver that's just going to come across wide open in the middle of the field. That's going to get it, this receiver actually has a lot of potential to actually go for a touchdown on this play uh depending on if the user is out there or not if he's not out there uh it does have a lot of potential to actually go for a touchdown now moving over uh showing y'all it has the same effect on uh cover two and cover four cover two it can actually be a touchdown most of the time uh just working out of a cover two just showing y'all same as that setup put x and triangle on streets uh you can lead the play action however you want to run it but as you can see one circle kind of clears if you have somebody fast enough you can actually go for a touchdown a lot of the time and that was actually like a deep cover two so uh something like this cover two it might actually go for a touchdown depending on the situation we're gonna go ahead and just block the running back this time around and you'll see that over the top a lot of times you're at least gonna pick up about 20 30 yards and moving on i'm just gonna show y'all that it beats a cover four the same as that way uh, going to the same place, same setup and everything, uh, working it out of a cover for a drop, same as that setup, just straight the triangle and the X tight end, um, and then you can cancel or lead the play action totally up to you and what you want to do with your scheme, uh, you just want to lead it towards the sideline just like this, and it's going to be open against every coverage in the game, boys. Now, moving on, showing y'all how to beat cover three uh, for a one play touchdown, we are going to be utilizing the same play. Uh, we are going to be just working it against a standard cover three. Now, with this play, you want to go ahead and put X on a streak, put square on a combat route. And what I like to typically do, I like to motion this triangle receiver uh, in about right here, just so I can get extra blocker because this cover three beater does take a little bit more time. And then practice mode, the pass rush is a little bit more crazier. But what I'll uh, usually do to buy a little bit more time, uh, you can uh, put S on the street, put square on a combat route. Go ahead and just block the running back regular. Uh, don't even lead the play action. And uh, I'll double team the outside guy on the left. And then I'll usually slide protect to the right. You do that by clicking a left bumper and clicking your right stick to the right. Now we're going to see if we can buy a little bit more time this time around. And we should have a little bit more time. As y'all can see, we barely didn't get it off. And unfortunately, that was actually the guy that was supposed to have been double teamed. But that's just kind of how the um, mechanics and Madden work. Unfortunately, it is what it is. But we are going to get this off so I can go ahead and show y'all in today's video. So this play, a lot of times you will be able to actually get this off against your opponent. It's just um, against the computer in practice mode. Uh, you don't get a lot of time. But as y'all can see, it's going to be money against a like, cover three every single time. Um, just streak your X tight end. Put square on a combat route. Uh, you can reblock. 
your running back and slot protect to the right. Uh, if you want to, you can risk it by putting a triangle on a slant. It's just you might not get this pass off. Uh, you usually do have a little bit more time against uh, actual opponent, but in practice mode, the pass rush is a little bit more crazy. So if you do want to take that risk and put triangle on a slant, you definitely can occupy the user a little bit more on the play. You definitely can. Uh, it's just in practice mode. It's more of a risk, as y'all can see. Not able to get it off. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and show y'all this play one more time just so y'all can see that it's a consistent play, though. Uh, it's just having the time. But if you do this the way that I'm showing you right now, you're going to have time every single time. Um, it does not matter. As y'all can see, that time we actually didn't get a pass off because for some reason my receiver blocked him and my lineman didn't. So we're going to go ahead and run this one more time. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I want to show y'all some other stuff in today's video, too. But I just want to show y'all that this play is actually consistent. I'm kind of just throwing it early just to kind of get it off. But we are going to move on so I can show y'all some other things. But this cover three beater is definitely consistent. It will get you touchdowns uh, a lot of the time. Um, now, moving on, boys, I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat cover four quarters. It's going to be the PA zone read again. Just working this out of uh, cover four quarters. All you want to go ahead and do is just motion. Uh, put your running back on a wheel route and motion your running back out. Uh, once you have done that, the read on this play is going to be the circle receiver. He's going to be wide open. As y'all can see, he was wide open in the middle of the field. It's just that we couldn't get the pass off. But we're going to go ahead and run this back one more time. Just go ahead and put the running back on your wheel route, motion him out. And then the circle receiver is going to be running wide open against a cover four quarters for a one play touchdown. Really simple. Nothing too complicated here. If you see cover four quarters, you know what to do. Put your running back on a wheel route, look for that circle receiver, and it's going to be a free one play touchdown basically against a cover four quarters. Uh, as y'all can see, it's going to be money every single time. Now, showing y'all some more things out of this formation as well. Uh, I'm going to be showing y'all how to beat man coverage as well out of this formation. Um, so y'all can have that in your arsenal as well. So the play that we're going to be utilizing is the same play, man. It's just one of those plays that works really good. Uh, we're just going to be working this against a cover two man this time around. So what you want to go ahead and do, boys, with this play, uh, I like to motion the circle receiver over. And what I typically like to do, because that square receiver is a really good man beating route, I'll typically put circle on a zig route, put triangle on a street, and I will put X on a out route just like that. And this is going to be the setup to beat man coverage. So a lot of the times you actually have this X tight end open against man coverage the majority of the time. Then you also have that Z route and that deep crosser coming across the middle that gets open a lot of the time against um, a man coverage as well. So putting him on an out route, put circle on a Z, put triangle on a streak. Uh, then this is the setup, boys. As you can see, it's going to be very, very consistent. Uh, that's how you can see he was wide open. And then I'm going to just go over uh, that deep crosser because a lot of times that deep crosser uh, will beat man coverage as well a lot of the time. So we're just going to go back over it. Just show you guys a lot of times, even though it's right now, it's actually covered pretty well. Uh, that deep crosser will actually get open a lot of the time against man coverage as well. Uh, another thing too, I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat cover four using the same as that play. Uh, regular cover four drop. Uh, now with this play, you do want to put X on a streak. Go ahead and put square on a comeback route. And typically what I'll do, uh, it's kind of basically like a cover three setup in a way. Uh, I like to put triangle on a slant though because typically in cover four drop, you have a little bit more time. But with cover four drop, you actually want to motion this guy in and let him run a few steps. Uh, and then he will get open like right here. And that's typically when you want to throw it to him. If you have a fast receiver, you can actually take this for a touchdown. It does have the potential to go for a touchdown a lot of the time if you have a fast receiver and if you time the play correctly. But like I was saying, same as that setup as the cover three. Uh, but I like to motion him a few steps in. Uh, just allow him to kind of develop up the field a little bit faster. Uh, then I like to have that slant to kind of occupy the safety or uh, the user who's going to be user in the middle of the field. But basically the same as that setup, just like the cover three. Like I was saying with the cover three, you can put the slant for the triangle receiver. Uh, you're just going to have a little bit less time. 
because against a cover three with this route the way it kind of works it gets so deep you kind of have to wait a little bit longer uh, with the cover three because you have to allow the play to kind of develop for you to score a touchdown or get past that free safety in order to lead it to the left hand side of the field to score or just to pick up a big game now moving on boys gonna show y'all two more things that y'all can go ahead and utilize out of this formation uh the first one is going to be this read option very very simple play to run uh like all read options you just watch that dn if that dn doesn't run down typically you'll be able to just run out and pick up a lot of yards with your quarterback but this is one of those good plays where you can actually just run it off to uh hand it off to the running back and you're going to pick up a decent amount of yards each time that you actually go ahead and do this uh doesn't matter rather your run hand it off to your running back or if you have the uh, ability to kind of get outside even though i'm doing the completely wrong things right now when it comes to reading that dm but if you just kind of focus on the dm kind of just focus on what he's doing and stuff like that a lot of times you'll be able to utilize this read option to go ahead and mix in this formation if you have a mobile quarterback as well but another thing that i want to show you on today's video that's a very very powerful run is going to be this half that mid draw it's a really good run play as well that y'all can go ahead and mix in to your game. As y'all can see, uh, most of the time, you're going to average about 5 to 10 yards a pop with this draw play. Just because it allows you to kind of read the hole a little bit better. And um, it kind of just opens up uh, the old line and allow you to get a better visual. And it's just a lot easier to go ahead and hit your holes and all that good stuff. But... Boys, that's basically all I have for today's video, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit a like, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, click that notification bell to stay up to date with all of my videos, man. It's your boy Alert, man. I love y'all, boys. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. And y'all have a great rest of your day. And peace.